we love it here so mm -hmm. far. You guys, Alex is a mess. Is that a purposeful fashion statement? Is yes. that intentional? There's no way this is 10 grand. Okay, so we didn't really love it. We didn't really love that place. Oh my gosh, we have our own balcony. I mean. I think we just found our dream place. <laughs> wait, wait, look at this, look at this. That's insane. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlogs. It is 8.20 in the morning. We're in Laguna Beach right now. And I'm in LA for like the next two-ish weeks. I'll just be here working, shooting, looking at apartments because like you guys know, if you've been watching the past few vlogs, my 2022 goal is to move out. So I'm looking for my dream place, my most perfect, ideal spot. I don't know exactly what that is. Like I have some criteria, but I'm just waiting for like the one that feels right. But yeah, so we're gonna go see a place in Laguna today. I honestly, we're only in Laguna for a day and a half. When we got here, I was like, okay, I'm obsessed with it here. Our place overlooks the water and it is so pretty. I'm like, I think this is what I want in my apartment that I get, that we get, mm -hmm. might be, we. And yeah, so we have been setting up some very last minute showings today because I think like, I really would want to be here. Like, I love it here. It is so. Yeah, it's great. There's so much good energy here. Like, not to com like not to like negatively like compare mm -hmm. Miami to LA, but I do feel like Miami was so empty compared to Laguna. I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's not. There's like, like so much place. charm and like yeah personality and like culture here, and it's <coughs> like people like walk into the grocery store like they came straight from the beach, and I just like. Yeah. I, I don't know, I love that. I, you see people walking out to go surfing. It's just like a different feel. I like the more casual, relaxed feel versus Miami. It's like very like done up. We love it here so mm -hmm. far. I'll, um, I'll turn you guys back on when it's time to go to the first apartment tour. Totally us being noobs. We didn't realize that Long Beach is an hour away from where we are right now and that's where the showing was gonna be. We're gonna try and reschedule it for tomorrow. We decided since clearly we're such noobs and we thought we just thought we knew. Um, we're just gonna go to a cafe right now and like see where we are in relation to everything so that we don't miss any more showings and just see like what we really wanna look at instead of just going just to go, especially because I'm being so specific about what I want. Oops, sorry, he's so annoyed. I mean. I think we just found our dream place. I'm so shit, sorry, this pimple. <laughs> wait, wait, look at this, look at this. <gasps> That's insane. That is insane. I really hope it works out. We should see it tomorrow night. Yeah, that's why I asked for nighttime. The camera died in the middle of when we were, when I was talking about apartments. I forget what I was saying, but I just know that the camera died, so. We're going to see a place. We're gonna see if we can get the place month to month because I feel like there's like a lot of vacation-y homes here and I just feel like that would be a possibility here over like a brand new apartment complex. So that would be super cool if we could figure out a way to make that work, especially because as you can tell, I'm very indecisive and I want a lot of different things. So month to month would probably be best for my personality type. Anyways, I want to show you guys the apartment before we leave. We have our own balcony. It's right over the beach. And then this palm tree. Oh. And then, well, this is curtained off right now, but it's our cute little beachy bedroom. It has so much charm and character to it, I feel like. Basically, I decided that after getting here yesterday, I was like, this is what I'm going for now. I don't need a high rise with floor to ceiling windows with the city view. If I can have this, like overlooking the water with the palm tree in the window, like that's all I want. That's the new goal. I'm so indecisive. I really need to figure this out, but I think, I think, I think it's a good thing to like a lot of different things, so I'm just gonna embrace it and see what catches my heart. Okay, I can't wait to take you guys to this place. You guys, Alex is a mess. He's literally been having MBs the past four or five days, and now his sock is, look, look at his sock, wait. Hang on, slow down. What is that, turn around. Is that a purposeful fashion statement? Is that intentional? The back of his jeans are tucked into only one of his sock, which is completely twisted and backwards. It's fine. <laughs> Look at you. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go.
Okay, so we didn't really love it. We didn't really love that place. Uh, we walked in and out basically, but Delaney, Delaney Childs, I don't know if you guys remember her. I've, she's been like on my Instagram a few times. I texted her, she lives in like the OC area and she recommended looking in Costa Mesa. So we got a last minute showing at this like, it looks like a single family unit home, which is perfect so that Morgan can live with us. I think there's three stories. I looked at it super quick. I just wanted to get something on the books for a tour, but it's like not a beach view, but like I love the whole OC area. So I really hope everything just falls into place and works out. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys. So we got a tour at this place that we found maybe like a few weeks ago and we were just obsessed with it. We thought it was a scam because we were like, there's no way this unit is real and it's at our price point. Like there's no way, there's gotta be a catch. The real estate agent finally got back to us after not getting in touch with us for like two weeks since we uh, sent an inquiry and he was like, yeah, I can show it tomorrow night. So I'm so excited to see that one. So that's another one I'm really excited about. That's an outlet. Okay, enough rambling, time to see the unit. morning guys so I didn't turn on the camera yesterday after the showing but we absolutely loved it but today we have six showings or seven is it six or seven seven that we canceled one we canceled one so six six we have six showings all around Huntington um, Costa Mesa LA downtown LA literally we're going all over the, the West world. Coast today just today so yeah i'm just gonna show you guys everything like all the details on like the price what you get for the price in each area um the amenities like what i'm looking forward to and hopefully we find a gem first we're at huntington we are here right now the palm trees are gorgeous there's so many palm trees we're obsessed with it just by the drive so all right let's go look at the place so i just found out that this first apartment it's a self-guided tour i've never done one apparently it's a new trend so see how we navigate the building alex is going to be my tour guide actually he, he knows all the info this is 10 grand this first one is it out i don't know if it's 10 but it's she said it's 10 grand there's no way this is 10 grand. That's out of budget anyways. Like I'm not trying to get an apartment for 10K it's right well now. It's well within budget. It's well within budget. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not worth 10 grand, but I am a huge fan of this chalkboard, pre-built custom chalkboards. So you could write, you know, do a mind map, do some brainstorming, write your schedule for the week. You know, that's, that's huge, so. Or just do it on your computer. I think I'm sold. Let's go out here. Feels like you're at a resort. And guys, I don't think that this is the top tier, although it might be, but... Alright, we're walking up. I mean, for 10 grand, who is paying 10 grand a month for those that don't know? There's definitely some nice amenities. Look at it. It's like an indoor-outdoor gym. It's kind of cool. Mm, lots of... Where'd he go? He went into the gym. We lost him. We lost Alex. Also a really nice workspace right here. We're walking into another one right now. It's 5K. Also, we just confirmed the price on the other one we saw. 10,500. I don't know. We 
figured out why it was such high prices at this place. Look at there's an Equinox literally next door to us. There's an Urban Outfitters next door to us, like a, a massive, super nice mall. So, so it makes a little bit more sense mm -hmm. now. Okay, I'm starting to understand why it was like pretty expensive. It's just, I wouldn't feel a need to. It is right by the beach. So we're, it's like basically one block from the beach, which is right here. So that's super nice. And then you can see the pier wow. right there, which is so cute. Yeah, it's cute. It's like Santa Monica, but less crowded. I do like it but I just don't know enough about it here. And unfortunately that's our only showing in Huntington. So um, a place in Santa Monica on the beach, a like a 300 square foot studio I was looking at. It was 4,100 and I don't think we're gonna look at that because I have too much stuff and there would be multiple people in the room. It just wouldn't work. Um, and their two bedroom loft units were over ten thousand dollars once again so maybe my next place maybe in the future but definitely not subscribe so we can get that place we are in seal beach right now and i'm pretty sure that's close to los alamitos and that just makes me think of los alamitos high school and los alamitos dance team was so good and jazz or palm jazz mainly wow. but actually their palm was so good but they were in the small division if you didn't do like UDA, uh, the national dance <laughs> Which, competition. If you didn't, thing. turn this off. If you didn't, right now, we can't relate to each other. But oh, oh, they were so good. I loved watching them turn. I'm just kidding. Don't subscribe. Okay. And I'm fangirling right now. Like I just want to turn on their videos right now, and I just want to like go up to people in the town and be like, you know, Los Alamitos High School, right? Like. Like, can we just talk about this right now? Turned the camera off for a bit and had a little bit of like a contemplation session um, over if we should go to the showings in Long Beach. Because as we kept driving, it was like, we just kind of felt like we were in like a gray area. Like we weren't close enough to Laguna Beach to where we like felt like we could easily go there. And we weren't close enough to LA to feel like we could easily go there. And those are two locations that we love. So as we were driving through and also there were a ton of like industrial ships and it just completely wrecked the whole beach view and a lot of the beaches were like fenced off so we don't i don't know we were just getting like meh vibes and if we don't even like the town that we're gonna be in there's like no point in looking at the apartment so we skipped all of the long beach showings but the showing that we've been looking forward to the most in la um it looks insane, the listing online. That, that'll be tonight in a few hours, so we're gonna catch the sunset for that one, so yeah. We're gonna go eat at Mendocino Farms now in Santa Monica. It's like my go-to spot. It's me and Jamie literally go there, like would go there every single meal when I lived in LA, so we're gonna bring it back now that I'm back.